I ask you something? You sure you won't give me no bull? Go on. Why aren't you and my mum not speaking? Where do you get that idea from? I've got eyes. I'm not stupid. No, no. No, a bit of a misunderstanding, so no, no for you to worry about. Oh, I knew you'd do that, give me bull. I always do. Hey, Fergie love, how did I manage to land myself in this, eh? Oh, tell me you're an exercise freak. Better still don't tell Sally. She'll get me at it as well. Already says I'm getting a bit of a pop, which is a bare-faced lie. Wash, blood, oh, eh, boss? Oh. Nah, I'm just woke up a bit stiff. So, what's first time on the agenda, then? Kettle? Kettle. Well, if it isn't wee Desi Barnes, by all that's holy. Uh, can't afford a razor now. I thought bookies were rolling. I heard you'd been seen in the vicinity. Oh, back end of last year, that was. Fly and visit, more business than social. Is that why you're so grumpy with me? Because I didn't troll across to pay my respects? I tried not to let it spoil me Christmas. Lost none of your natural sweetness, I see. Lover's tiff, is it? Is what? Why are you so grumpy? Heard you got shacked up again. Older woman, teenage daughter. I might flip through, but I don't miss much. Evidently. I've been trying to raise Curly Top. We parted in a bit of a huff last time. Well, he did. I've left messages, but he's not bothered calling back. Is it my perfume? We must have that drink sometime. Let's do lunch. What? Hi. I've just come to let you know. I changed my mind. I didn't go to Spain. Right. No, it was a crazy idea in the first place. Reza Henderson's not for me. Besides, I didn't feel that I could leave you and Steve. Not after everything that's happened. Well, aren't you just a little bit pleased? To be perfectly honest, Mum, I couldn't care less. I don't suppose either of you two know Curly's whereabouts. Is he not at work? Oh, I rang, they said he's not in. He's not in at home either. Does his flatmate know? I wasn't aware he had one. Didn't last time I was here. Yeah, he does now. Oh, well. Maybe he was out and all when I knocked on, or else still snoring. <laughs> she. She? Ah. Is this flatmate as in sharing expenses or as in sharing bed? Expenses. I know he keeps it that way for his own sake. Mm, bit of a horror, is she? Oh, Samantha. Actually, she's rather gorgeous. She's as hard as nails after what she's done to Des Barnes. Des? What? Well, she played a rotten trick on him, which ended up with him being fired from his job and his girlfriend walking out. Claire, she used to work here. Yeah. Poor Des. He got clobbered all round. Cheeky monkey shouldn't have tried it on. And he dropped me in it. Caused no end of ructions with my mother. Your mother was involved. There you go. So, I feel such a fool, but I didn't know where else to go. Honestly, I thought my legs were going to give way underneath me right there in the middle of the street. Look at me. I'm still shaking. Well, it's probably delayed shock or something. Yeah, I've been through a lot. I thought I could cope with anything. But finding out your own flesh and blood hates you, that ain't something you cope with. Andy doesn't hate you, Liz. You didn't see the way he looked at me. I thought he'd be pleased I hadn't gone off with Fraser. He couldn't care less. You've got to see it from his point of view. I'm well aware of what I've done to Andy. But it wasn't intentional. None of it was. My sons are the most important people in my life. I wouldn't do anything to hurt them. It were only because I was trying to protect his brother that I got into this mess. If that's what you believe. What are you saying? Well, didn't it also have something to do with the fact that you had the hots for Mr Henderson? I don't have to take that. Especially as a lot of it were down to your pushy boyfriend. Alan didn't ask you to have an affair with Fraser or to go back to him. It was obviously a mistake, me coming here. Thanks for the tea, Fiona. I'm sorry I bothered you. Yes. I am sorry the way things turned out. Save your breath. You're both as bad as each other. She's just told Andy that she's took Fraser and he wasn't very impressed. It wasn't a case of all is forgiven. Should have gone a bit easier on her, really. She's at rock bottom. She's a grown woman. She's made her own choices. 
Now, how about we meet up tonight, have a bottle of something sparkling, and then move on as the fancy takes us? Alan, I have just told you that I'm feeling lousy. All right, fair enough. What do you suggest? Sackcloth and ashes? How about a bed of nails? Very daft. Listen, you punishing yourself won't change the cock up that Liz has made of her life. Maybe not. Oh, no, I'll invite her out for, for a drink, make her a meal or something. Yes, well, you do that. Now, us, tonight, are we on? Right, what time? Uh, it. I'll be there, suspicious woman. Mm, wonder why. Oh, I'll do that. Nice done. <laughs> oh, sorry, Vera. He had me up four times at night. I must have dropped back off to sleep. Where's Jeremy? Oh, he's had his breakfast. He's gone to school. <laughs> Look, don't you fret. You shouldn't have to bother. Look, he's no bother. Besides, he can look after himself, that one. <laughs> but it's not just the baby that's kept you awake, is it? Oh, Vera, what am I going to do? Brad is Terry's son. Why won't Jack believe me? Well, he wants to love. No, he doesn't. Else he'd not be that flaming keen to pin it on old Elton trousers I come into contact with. I mean, I'm surprised he's not accusing Mike Baldwin. Look, love, our Jack knows what it did to me. You know, when our Terry ran off with little Tommy. And then when he did it again, well, it... It practically destroyed us. There's no way our Jack's gonna let that happen to me. Not a third time. I wouldn't take little Brad away from you. Yeah, but, you see... We sees it, there's no guarantees, is there? I mean, say a fella came along and he said he'd more claim to him than, than what we have. But there is no other fella. I know that, love. But, you know, if the war... You see, we are, Jack looks at it. It's better to know now than later. And then it saves us going through all that hell again. But you won't do. All this daft nonsense is in Jack's head. I swear to you, the little Brad is your grandson. On our Jamie's life. Yes? Meals on wheels and a shoulder to cry on. No extra charge. I don't need either. Well, I do. I grew up anyway. I'm starving. I've only had an apple all day. Right. Plowman's? Chicken tikka masala? Or prawn? You choose. Um, Plowman's. So, who told you? No, it's a daft question. Took a stone out there, you're bound to whip some nosy beggar. Bit of a prat, weren't you? A lot of a prat. I had a brilliant thing going with Claire. Well, it can't have been that brilliant if you came onto this Samantha. Unless you really fell for her. I didn't. I mean, all right, she's a babe. A very attractive woman. She's not my type, she's too tough. Iron fist under an iron fist. Then why, for goodness sake? Oh, I don't know, a challenge. Prove I could score where my boss couldn't. That's disgusting, no wonder he fired you. Oh, fair enough. Take your mercy mission and go. I haven't had a bite. You don't learn, do you, Desmond? Even me. I had to chuck a pint over you once for mucking me about. Mm, I haven't forgotten. So where do you go from here? Nearest monastery. A job, everything. Not just your love life. Oh, heaven knows, that's a disaster area. Hey, who invited you to be my therapist? Oh, don't need an invitation, me. Just barge in. Mm, another endearing little trait I seem to remember. I'm full of them, me. Do you want me to go? Nah. Someone's got to do the washing up. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <gasps> I don't know why you're so keen to be stuck behind that counter all day any wrong. Alf was. Ah, yeah, and well, I put a stop to that, lovey. I mean, the clock ticks on. There are better ways of him spending the time he's got left than selling tins of beans. What you mean is admit that you're past it. What I'm saying, Maud, is there is plenty left to enjoy and now's the time to enjoy it. I mean, waking up on a lovely spring morning and having the time to say, well, let me go to the lakes today or shopping or the seaside. We can't all toddle off that easy. Oh, yeah. Well, I appreciate that, though. But what I'm saying is there's plenty you can do in retirement that you were just too busy to do before, that's all. Well, truth to tell, there have been days when I wanted to stay at home, only for letting our Maureen down. Well, come on, you should be thinking of yourself at your age. And it was the way she did it. 
No reference to me. Give over a nitpick it. Do you know, your Maureen is a very good daughter. She's always put your welfare first. Ask Reg Holsworth. He never stopped grumbling about it. I did get up his nose a time or two, didn't I? I wish I'd done it a bit more now, looking back. <laughs> Look, we can't carry on like this. It's not fair to nobody, especially me. I'm like Piggy in the flaming middle. Only because you'd have to know to swallow her tails. But they're not tails. Why do you have to be so stubborn? She swore to me that's Arthur, his baby. Tell you what, though, they sue each other. Couldn't trust either of them, I could throw them. She changed her mind. <laughs> oh, I am my right. Look, he's dumped her, all right? That's what he's like. He gets tired of them when he dumps them. I know a sort. So how's she doing, anyway? Not happy. Stupid woman. Large scotch water, no ice, young sir. And what's today's special? Uh, steak and kidney. Right, I'll have a basin full of that. Got to keep the old energy levels up, seeing how business is booming. Vera! What, love? Would you give Andy a couple of minutes off, please? There's something we need to sort out. It's all right, Vera, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere, darling. Um, you stay away from me, right? Uh, I would do as he says, so would Elizabeth. This is between me and my son. Please, Andy, don't be like this. I can understand you being... No, no, that is just it, Mum. You don't understand, though, do you? Or else you wouldn't keep going on at me, doing me flipping head in. You embarrass me, Mum, you know that? I used to have a mum I was proud of. You're a joke. You should have done us all a favour, Mum, and gone off with your boyfriend, cos I'll tell you something, you're certainly not wanted round here. <laughs> You'll have to ask your husband that. Oh, don't get involved in garage business. It's more than my life's worth. <laughs> no, I meant locally. Have you found any decent dinks? You know, it'll do. See ya. Is she in the back? Maureen, no. She's just slipped over to Fiona's to get her hair trimmed, but she won't be long. No matter. I want a word with you and all, lass. Now, all this argy-bargy about you taking over here, I just want you to You know... won't let it drop, will you? I was just telling you... I know what you're telling her, that she's pushed you out of a job, which as well you know is utter rubbish. Because I have been saying for months I've got to find somebody full-time. But you just shut your ears. I know it's hard, Mother, but you have got to face it. You're just not up to it anymore. As you've made quite plain. Oh, now where are you going? The corporation tip. <sighs> along with all the other useless junk. Right. Get this. Down your neck now, all right? It was good of Vera, so it was. I ate brandy. Look, Andy, it's only a wee dram. Get it down your neck. You're white as a ghost, so you are. Oh, I don't even know why I'm here. I'm supposed to be at work. Look, you are no good to man or beast in the state you're in. Dad, I'm fine. Oh, why, you're fine. Dead on. Listen to me, son. Your mother is not a bad woman, all right? She's... Well, she's like... She's misguided, do you understand me? Oh, don't give me that, man. She knew what she was doing every step of the way, but I didn't stop her, did it? All right, all right. Look, sometimes you just set yourself on some strange road to self-destruct and, uh, and, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. And they take it from me. I'm the expert in this, all right? Are you defending her? No. You're the only one I care about, Andre, all right? Try this one. I'm just thinking, if you're a wee bit easier on her, things might be a bit easier on yourself. You mean let go of my anger? Well, it doesn't seem to be doing you an awful lot of good hanging on to it now, does it? Yes. Yes, Dad, it does. It reminds me that she's rubbish and I want her out of my life. <laughs> Come here, son. <laughs> Jamie, you get glue on that table. Vera will go bonkers. Oh, sorry. Hey, you don't have to go kiss me. Well, it's time for me to set up anyway. Oh, Jack, wait, please. Jamie, go play outside. No. Hey, do as your mum says. It's about why you two have fallen out. I'm stopping. Kids have rights too, you know. Jack don't believe that Terry's Brad's dad. Why? 
This is not a subject to discuss in front of the lad. No, Jamie's right. He's entitled to know what's going on. Now, Vera reckons you're doing it to protect her. But the way I see it is that you're scared I'm ripping you off. Facts speak for themselves. I can't ignore that. I explained about the birth certificate. What about him being five-week premature, so-called? He was premature. At me three-month scan, there were a three-month fetus that he said otherwise. Ask Vera, she were there. Well, who's he saying the dad is, anyway? It doesn't matter, lovey. He thinks I'm trying to pin it on Terry so as I can scrounge of him. Well, you needn't worry. I've had enough arguing. I know the truth, and that's all that matters. And as for scrounging off you, well, we'll be out from under your feet as soon as I can find us somewhere else to go. So you can stick your charity up your woolly jumper. She's telling the truth. It was your Terry. You can't know that, son. I can. She's my mum. It's gone, then? Yeah. And you can stop twitching and looking at the door because he ain't coming back. Well, can you blame me? Just thinking about him gives me the creeps. Those people, the, the world he lives in, it... Well, it's dirty. Then so am I, because I were part of it. Well, at least you have the sense to ditch him. Yeah, well... Doesn't matter now, does it? None of it does. Except making up with Andy and that's not going to happen. I can't interfere. I phoned you to come round here because you're the only person left who's still talking to me. At least I hope so. Don't be daft. I should have done what Andy said. Clear off to everybody a favour. Give him time. He's a sensible lad. He'll get things back in perspective. No, it's too late. He's disowned me, told me straight. Said I embarrassed him. Now, what have you said to her? She's locked herself in her room for the last hour. She won't come out. Vera, don't start. I'm up to there. You can always rely on the McDonald clan to put on a good show. Yeah, well, that's not very funny. And then that poor lad's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. He's not on his own. Yeah, I heard there was some sort of carry on. What happened? Exactly. Yeah. All families have the troubles, don't they? And people in glass houses. Still, you've got to hand it to that Liz. She's a game girl. What, consorting with criminals? Getting a family shot at? I don't think that's how to be proud of. At least she's not frightened of getting her feet wet, which is more than some people around here are capable yeah, of. That's some kind of sick joke about me. Oh, no, talk about paranoid, eh? Yeah, only a sick man a defender scrubber like that in the first place. What was that all about? Long-standing tribal wars. Baldwins versus Brennans. Hey, after Africa, you should fit in round here. I'm going home, you're walking for the bus? Nah, I'm going here a bit. No rush. OK, see you then, Mum. Half a bitter. Right. Well, every breakup's painful. What makes this one worse is that there's a kid involved. Yeah. And like you say, there's Anne and a crust to worry about. Do I seriously want to be a bookie for the rest of my life? <coughs> if not, then what? Des. I know I offered a shoulder, but there's a limit to even my boundless compassion. I'm boring you. No, no. But, uh, so, what have you been up to and how's your love life, Ange? Might be nice. So, what have you been up to and how's your love life, Ange? Works great. Love life, zilch. <laughs> you know, I can see thee and me hobbling up the aisle with our Zimmer frames and no-one else will have us. <laughs> as proposals go, I've had more romantic. And I might just take you up on that one day if I'm really, really desperate. <laughs> Late. Yeah, knowing how it feels, don't you? And it's only ten minutes, not your usual hour and a half. All right, all right, one sec. Uh, is this all right for you? Oh, lovely. I have had a pig of a day. This woman comes in wanting her hair cropped and bleached, and then she grumbles because she reckons she looks like she's in the flipping Marines. Did she? Mm, no, the SAS. <laughs> I didn't know this was one of your haunts. Um, it, it has been known. Uh, this is this is Dawn. Dawn's a, a colleague of mine. Hiya, you first time I've ever met. Well, I like to keep my private life separate. You know what what little I get. 
I don't think you've met my fiance, have you? No. Glyn, this is Alan McKenna, Hi. and Hi. Uh, this is this is Fiona. Uh, won't you join us? Yeah, just for ten minutes. Got a table booked in Dimitri's. <laughs> so, you know this character long? Um, I'll go and get you to uh, a couple of glasses, all right? Yeah. What about that Josie Clark, eh? All that time working at that health centre certainly paid off. How do you mean? Well, she got married again. All right, to adopt her, no less. Yeah, but in Gazette, I thought you'd have seen her. No. Well, you were better off without her love. You weren't suited, you know. She were too bossy by her. Vera, can you watch Brad for us? I've got to pop out for half an hour. There's a flat in tonight's paper. Doesn't sound too grim. Jack. There's no need. I've got used to tripping over baby's bottles and bibs and bits of aeroplane. Yes, I said miss them now. Yes. <sighs> I'm glad we bumped into you. I must say, he's kept you under wraps. Yeah, probably scared of the competition. Can't say I blame him. Watch it, you. You're meant to have eyes for no other woman but me. <laughs> Not until June 21st. I'm a free agent till then. Mm, that's what he thinks. You should have come to our knees up on Tuesday. It was a good deal. Yeah, their, uh, their annual bash. They all go bananas. Often end up handcuffed in the toilet. <laughs> Computer programmers don't know how to let their hair down. We missed Alan. He's normally there as a rule. I must have uh, double booked him. Here we go. Uh, not for us, mate. Tom was saying we're half an hour late as it is. Fair enough. Hope to meet you again, Fiona. She set up a foursome. Yeah. See you. See, See you later. later. Tyrone. Do you know how we um, went to the pictures on Tuesday night? <laughs> and uh, and you went through a bucket of popcorn single handed. Yes, I do. I wonder why we didn't go to your annual bash instead. The um. Uh, well, it's a bit naff. I didn't think it was really your sort of thing. Well, we'll never know, will we, seeing as thou wasn't given the chance to find out? Well, they all talk shop, and then they get bladded, you know. I'd... You wouldn't have enjoyed it, Pat. I wouldn't, or you wouldn't. I mean, according to Dawn, you've been every other year. There isn't someone else, is there? What? No. Well, what is it, then? It's not because I'm back, is it? That's ridiculous. Isn't it?